this video describes the welding of lofted features it is module 14 as prepared by Muhammad Yunus and John O'Brien that describes the procedure as listed in there we have a assembly of a lofted column flange and a handrail column top these are welded together to hold them in their respective positions you have a weld at the bottom of the lofted column with the weld details as given in here you have another one on top of the lofted column to the bottom of the handrail column top with the weld details as shown in the weld symbol We make use of SOLIDWORKS 2019 to model these parts and the assembly. Select a new file from the standard toolbar. The file type as part file. Make the units uh, as millimeters. Select the front plane. Make that a sketch plane use circle as the sketching entity from the sketch toolbar with the origin as the center of the circle sketch a circle with a diameter of 100 extrude this to have a height of 13 millimeter Round off the sharp edge that you have on the top using fillet and the features toolbar. Constant size fillet as the type. Pick up the circular edge and assign this radius of 3 millimeter. The property manager. Accept this. This flange has uh, six countersink holes. So we generate one countersink hole and then copy that using circular pattern. So to generate the first countersink hole, we go to features, hole wizard, and then pick up the hole type as countersink hole. Standard as and symmetric. You have flathead screw size of M8 uncheck the box show custom sizing we, as we have the standard size available end condition through all and then the position click on the tab position tab and select the top face of the flange drop your center for the countersink hole on that and we define this position of the center go normal to and the view orientation assign relation by clicking on add relation the point is already selected here the center point if not you may add it uh, if, if it has got deselected the second is the origin select both of these two points and assign a vertical relation between the two Give a distance between the two centers as 35 millimeter. And this fully dis uh, defines the sketch. Accept and move out of all bizarre. We may now pattern it around by going over circular pattern under features. We have it here as circular pattern. So for which we might need uh, the axis in the middle. So you, you may turn it on by going over view, height view, temporary axis. This is one way to turn on the temporary axis and have a look at that. This becomes the axis about which you are going to uh, pattern the countersink hole. And there's another way you can even go to view and then you have hide and show click on temporary access to make it visible 
we now go to circular pattern select circular pattern under features toolbar in the property manager select the axis uh, as the direction for circular pattern this is a pattern axis which is this axis in the middle here this is a axis which can be assigned or you can even assign the circular edge one of the circular edges here to be the axis pattern number of, you have uh, these instances equally spaced and number of instances we have these as six features and faces that needs to be pattern select this and you may directly pick up the countersink hold from the graphical screen or you may pick it up from the design tree open up the design tree and assign the countersink hold as the feature to be patterned accept this and we have uh, the flange ready turn off the display of temporary access let's assign this uh, color by clicking on appearance and picking up a color from the color palette save this file and we prepare the next part file which is lofted column click on new and on the standard toolbar and select the file type as a part file to make the lofted column we make use of two parallel top planes so we have the top plane here as the standard plane we add another one using features reference geometry plane and assign a distance of 76 millimeter between the two planes we sketch the circle on the standard top plane select the top plane make that a sketch plane add a circular sketch entity using the sketch toolbar onto this plane with the center as the origin of the file and assigning it a diameter of 42 millimeter exit the sketch use the plane one to add a, another circle on it make this a sketching plane and add a circle here which is going to be having a center right on top of the center for the previous circle Give this a diameter of 32. This is slightly smaller compared to the one below. The plane one can be hidden. We connect the two circular profiles using lofted boss base from the features toolbar. In the property manager, assign the two profiles the two circular profiles by directly selecting them from the graphical screen or you may also add these profiles from the design tree open up the design tree and assign the sketch number one and sketch number two as the two profiles you observe two green points on these profiles you have to make sure that they are corresponding to the same point if you have one selected here you select a similar point on the profile above and uh, if uh, they are at a different location you will find certain amount of twist between these two surfaces for example if the mark on the if the point on the top is slightly away uh, at a different position and you accept this you can observe uh, the amount of twisting on the surface here let us edit this feature going normal and going to the front view and the view orientation you may pick up the point on the top and get it to the extreme left in a similar manner you may select the point in the bottom profile and move it to the extreme left of that profile this way you can make sure that they are correspond to the same point on the two profiles and then accept this 
that's the lofted column let us assign another color to this feature save this file the other file that we have for the assembly is the handrail column top we make an assembly of these three parts let's go over a new file file type as assembly the first part in here is the handrail column top which will be anchored or the fixed part in the assembly bring in the other files by clicking on insert components or you may click windows tile horizontally Try to get the other the flange the lofted We pick up the top face of the flange and the bottom face of the loft, assign a mate of coincident between the two. Select the circular edge and assign a concentric mate between the two features, between the two components here we have a concentric mate and then the whole thing to be moved down to the bottom of uh, the handrail column top, position it next, uh, next to it and then select the top face of the lofted column and the bottom face of the handrail column top assign a coincident mate between these two turn on the temporary axis You can even turn it on by going over view menu I then show and then temporary axis on so we have the axis of the lofted column select this and pick up the origin for the handrail column top it can be done from the design tree you open up the features under handrail column top and pick up the origin which is the point here as a center of the arc as well make these uh, selections as coincident turn off the temporary axis yeah. now to hold these uh, three components in the respective positions we add a weldment We go over assembly, assembly features, weld B. Select the two surfaces as uh, the top of the flange and the second surface as the 
surface exterior surface on the lofted column we have a radius of 5 millimeter and the well is all around define the well symbol make sure it's a fillet well so this is already uh, selected it's a fillet well we have the radius as 5 it's a peripheral well so we have a round check to, to have a circle in here and the contour as concave to make the well bead visible right click on the well folder in the feature manager design tree and select show cosmetic well we add a similar one on the top of the lofted column and the bottom of the handrail column top to fix the two parts together assembly features well bead the lofted column as the first surface and the bottom of the handrail column cap as the second surface we don't have much space in here to add a five millimeter bead so we make this as three millimeter radius this is also all around defined well symbol it's a fillet well with the around and concave as the contour radius size of three millimeter Okay, this completes your module number 14 and I acknowledge and thank uh, Muhammad Yunus and John O'Brien for providing the handrail column top as the part file for this assembly.